Hey people, what's up? Well, i uh, got a little story to share with you. Um, I was in Lexington, Kentucky. This was several years ago, but the story definitely needs to be uh, repeated. Uh, I was there and I, I was picking up a girl that called me, didn't know her real well, and she was this black girl, calls me out, says, could you give me a ride to the store? She's pretty cute, so, you know, being the nice gentleman that, that I am, the damsel in distress she was, I sure, I pick her up. And I pulled uh, into the neighbor's driveway because I didn't remember which house it was. Pulled in for about 10 seconds. Back, you know, I drove in and she ran out of the house, jumped to the car. Then I backed out, drove out. There was a cop at the end of the street. Well, he sees a black girl get in, into an Audi of a, of a white guy driving and he decided he didn't like that. That's what happened. So uh, and he was going to do something about it. Officer Ricky Lynn, that's his name, okay? Officer Ricky Lynn. And what Officer Ricky Lynn did was pulled me over, and uh, and uh, and I, when I asked him why he pulled me over, he, he, he had to stall, and he said, well, we'll get to that. We'll get to that, he said. Oh, well, you get to that. <laughs> so he had to buy time. Then then he finally comes up with this this thing where he says that I was trespassing in the neighbor's dr driveway, even though the neighbors had never called the police on me trespassing for 20 seconds in their driveway while she ran out of the house and jumped in the car. And then I backed out and went on my merry way. Um, so that was his probable cause to pull me over, was that I was trespassing in the neighbor's driveway. Um, and uh, real clever. So anyway, then... Then, even more clever, what Ricky Lynn does was he, he tells me, this isn't my lucky day, and he thought he was real clever. Um, and and uh, he says, well, this, he says, uh, your license is, is, is revoked. Well, that's interesting. It's not, uh, it, was, it, was, it wasn't my lucky day because I couldn't find, I, 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 I wasn't pulled over by an honest cop. That's why it wasn't my lucky day. Um, because because the cop that I was being pulled over by is a criminal. That's why it wasn't my lucky day. Okay, we can probably agree on that much. It wasn't my lucky day. But why that might be an up for interpretation. And I haven't been right to wrong rather too many times. Um, so in just like this case, I certainly wasn't. Um, but anyway, when you go to your job and being wrong, there's no consequences for being wrong. Then I guess it doesn't give you much of an incentive not to be wrong. Um, but anyway, what happened was he pulls me over and uh, and he says that so he takes me to jail puts me in handcuffs throws me in the back of this van and uh and then i and then i have to bail myself out of jail walk home uh and my car gets impounded and my buddy who owned the car was out of town for about a week in new york so i had to pay a week's worth of impound fees too and uh and then of course i had to call him and say hey dude uh well you're not going to believe what happened which you know that wasn't fun either um and uh, officer ricky lynn i'm assuming what he did was him and the tow truck guy probably split the money i've heard about the scam in other cities you're not that clever or original so i know that this night the first rodeo uh that the other i've read about stories of the same similar things in other other places too that did, uh so they got this this tow truck scam um, so anyway, uh, and the judge too, of course, the judge, um, that was his first rodeo. And I'm sure he, he probably seen all kinds of cases he had to throw out from this cop. And, uh, that, so, but I never got my money back, of course, for, for the, for, for the, for er what he did. Uh, and that's carjacking, by the way. I mean, what's the difference if somebody comes up to me with a gun and takes my car? That's what he did. A guy, a guy with a gun lies and steals my car. And, and then on top of it, he kidnaps me and throws me in a cage illegally. You know, and and so I tell. But if you go to Lexington, I call it Lexico, Kentucky. If you go there, you know what? It, about half the population can't speak English. It's 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 unbelievable. Okay, so if you're a horse farmer, it's great. But anyway, uh, it, it tells you how corrupt it is. Okay, and I asked somebody, well, it, Lexington. They said it's a Commonwealth state. And I said, what does that mean? And they said, well, basically, it means the Constitution doesn't apply. You got no constitutional rights here. That's exactly that's pretty much what I saw in in in, in Lexico, Kentucky. So anyway, if you ever run into Officer Lynn uh, uh, there in in uh, in Lexington, Kentucky. Uh, you make sure that uh, you know that you put your video camera on any any cop in Lexington, especially any cop, because they're all they all stand up for each other to protect and serve one another. Okay, we all know that's pretty much how it goes. Okay, that ain't no secret anymore, is it? So Lexington is especially bad, and like I said, if you look at the demographics there and how much of the city's population is there legally, okay, that tells you how corrupt the judges are. They're harboring all these illegals. It's it's overrun. It's horrible. I mean, it is horrible. It is a third world country in Lexington, Kentucky, just to let you know. So this is sort of, I guess, kind of, it's consistent with, with what, what the entire area is all about, corrupt. So anyway, 
it's not really about the money, okay? I bail, I got the car out of jail a week later when my buddy came back because I couldn't go claim it, um, you know, and it's it, it, it's his car. So uh, anyway, I had to pay for the fees and, and everything, and, and, uh, and then I went to court. Of course, the judge threw it out. Uh, you know, in, in, in like 30 seconds, I'm like, I don't know where that showed him my license and I don't know where the confusion was, but, uh, this officer seemed to have different information than everybody else had, you know, the DMV and everybody, the state, nobody had record of my license ever being revoked or suspended. See, that's, that, I, that's, I guess the, the moral to the story. So, uh, I, I, I guess I didn't want to leave that part out. Right. Um, so anyway, but the judge, of course, like I said, he did, uh, reprimand the cop or anything. I, obviously he knew, I mean. If I knew what was going on, I'm pretty sure the judge knew when it's the, you know, the umpteenth time that uh, that he saw saw this from the same officer or, 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 or several others probably do that too, you know, for that matter. So anyway, well, I got to go. I just wanted to make this video and let you people know. Officer Ricky Lynn, if you run into him in Lexington, Kentucky, put, or any, any of them, any of them for that matter, always keep your camera on them because I'm telling you from experience, okay? So God, God bless. And uh, talk soon, I hope. <laughs>